Hello, it's wonderful to see you again today. It's been a little while since I saw you last, but it looks like you are keeping very well, which is really, really good to see. So, since you are an expert at having your annual physical exam done, we're going to jump right in. So as always, can I ask you to confirm your name, your date of birth, and do you consent to me performing this annual physical examination on you today? Good, thank you. So, like always, I have a list of questions which I will need to ask you prior to the physical examination. Have you um, been taking any medication in the last year that we don't have on our records? They're all the same. And have you been taking any um, herbal remedies? or over-the-counter medication for any ailments. Alright, and do you have any symptoms of pain or anything that you're experiencing right now that has arisen during the past year? Okay, and have you had any recent tests like blood tests or anything like that? And were the results from those all clear? Ok, 
okay? And any medical history that needs to be updated, any family medical history like glaucoma, strokes, heart disease, cancer in the past year. Okay? And have you had any major or minor surgery in the past year? Any visits to the ER? And any reason to see your GP? Your healthcare practitioner? Okay. And any other illnesses that you have had this year? Like seasonal flu or anything like that? And has your diet changed in the last year? And do you smoke or started smoking or stopped smoking? And do you still drink the same amount of alcohol as what you did last year? Has it increased or decreased? Alright, and has your exercise regime stayed the same or have you been doing more or less? All right, perfect. So we're going to start um, by listening to your heart, first of all, as we always do. Um, if I can just ask you to um, just lift up your top a little bit for me. That's good, thank you. Alright, these aren't the most comfortable things in the world. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, everything seems to be normal, that's very good. So now I'm going to ask you, um, you can put your shirt down, that's fine. Um, now I'm going to ask you to take some nice deep breaths in for me, and I'm going to listen to your lungs, okay? Everything seems to be uh, perfect. I'm just going to do some other tests and you can just sit, uh, just sit normally and breathe normally. That will be great. Thank you. Everything seems to be normal. Well done. Good. So, um, we have some scales just behind you. And I'd like to take your weight. And 
also if I can get you to stand up against the uh, the measuring tape as well on the wall, I will also measure your height as well. Okay? Yes? That's fine. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much. Your height and your weight and your BMI all seem perfectly fine. Well done. So now I'm going to be taking your blood pressure and grab a cup. Excellent. Everything seems to be perfect. Great. Um, any family history of high blood pressure? Just ask as a precaution. So now I just would like to ask you to walk from one side of the office to the other. And I'm going to measure your gait or your strides, how you walk, just to see if there's anything um, underlying there in terms of your uh, muscles, your, your uh, bones and so, in your own time, that's fine. Yep. Good. And back again. Good. Alright. And if you can just um, walk over to the end of the room and then come straight towards me and then sit down. So now I'm going to just inspect your hands and nails. So we just, yep, that's perfect, thank you. Good. Bite your nails. Okay, hands are right. And the other hand. Do you get any pain in your hands, any numbness? Can you make a fist for me? And let go. Alright, hand on this hand, make a fist for me. Good, and let go. Any pain there? Does it hurt when I press it like this? Like this? Alright, the other hand, when I press it like this? Alright. Okay. I'm going to just inspect the skin on your face here. Okay, good. And do you have problems with dryness? Or 
itchiness, any trembling in the eyes, okay, and the lips. Mm -hmm. Any numbness? Has anyone commented on any sort of lack of muscle in your face, like drooping? I don't see any drooping. And you just frown for me? Right. Relax. You just clench your jaw for me. Okay. And relax. Right. Just open your mouth really wide. Good. And relax. And pop out your cheeks for me. Okay, good. And relax. Big smile. Alright. And relax. Good. Um, let's take a look at your scalp now. Stand up. Okay. Alright. Any problems with um, thinning hair? Any dandruff? Any itchiness? Okay. Any eczema in the hair or anything like that? Alright. And do you use shampoo and conditioner? Is it sulfate free? No. Well, switching to a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner can really help and maintain nice healthy hair. Top tip. Alright, good. So now we are going to be inspecting your eyes. Just having a look at the overall health of your eyes. Um, nothing too um, detailed as what you would have at the optometrist. Uh, when was the last time you had a vision check? And any history of glaucoma or any other eye disease in the family? Okay, that's fine. Alright. Let's get the right attachment in place. Alright, if you can just look straight at me, that would be wonderful. Okay, good. Excellent. Alright. Good. Yeah, just keep looking straight. You just cover one eye with your one hand. Very good. Excellent. Okay. All right. And swap over. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Now, if you just look straight at me. Or you just follow my finger. Good. One more time. Good. Good. If you 
you tell me when I'm wiggling my finger? Very good. Yes. Good. I'm going to change the attachment once again. And this time, I just like you to follow the light. Okay, you can see it all right. really good, doing really well. So, I just would like to very simply ask you, how many fingers am I holding up? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Um, so now, I just want to take a quick look inside your ear. Have you had any um, ear infections in the last year? No? And do you go swimming an awful lot? Do you suffer from swimmer's ear or anything like that? No? Okay, that's good. Alright, so we just... Let's have a look. That's really, really good. Your ears seem to be perfectly healthy and normal. Um, I will just... just would like to test your ears a little bit, see how much you can hear, and when was the last time you had a uh, hearing test? Yes, they're not very common, but I believe that they should be as much as a, um, a sight test, because your hearing is really, really important. So, I'm going to be whispering something to you, ear to ear. You can just repeat the word back to me. Okay? Ready? Eyes. Chocolate. Table. Seaside. Children. Thought. 
That's brilliant, yes, perfect. Now I just ask you to tilt your head back and I'm going to have a look up your nose. But I'm just looking for any signs of uh, uh, infection or inflammation within the uh, nose and the soft tissue inside of the Have you had a cold recently? Like a sinus infection? Okay. And any discomfort in the nose itself when you blow your nose? Okay. That's fine. Alright, yes, and relax. That's really good. Okay. So now I'd like to ask you to identify different smells and what I'd like you to do is just block one of your nostrils first of all and I'm going to be holding up a bottle with some uh, scented water in here and I just ask you to identify what that smell is all right Yes, that's right, perfect. Get another one. And block the other nostril. And what do you think this is? Yes, perfect. And now both nostrils open. What would you say? Perfect. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, so we're going to move on to your face or nerves. I have a small um, little device here. It's very soft on the end. It's not spiky or sharp or anything. And I just want you to close your eyes. Going to be touching various points on your face, and if you can just tell me where you feel those sensations whilst your eyes are closed, okay? Ready? Okay, what do you think that was? Yes, what do you think that? Okay, yes, very good. Very good. Yes, I'm trying to trick you. Good. Very good. Can you feel anything now? Good, yes, I wasn't touching you then. What about now? And now, all right, and now, and can you feel anything now? No. All right, that's perfect. You can open your eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a look at your thyroid and your neck. Have you had any um, family history or any thyroid problems in the past? Okay. Just have a look here. Okay. That's good. Any pain or discomfort when I put pressure on here? Okay. Could you swallow for me? Have any problems eating or swallowing or anything like that? 
just here. All right, and is it sort of like a burning sensation or a tight sensation? All right, and do you experience heartburn at all? Indigestion? All right, well, that might be uh, just a byproduct of that uh, indigestion, that acid reflux. I would definitely go uh, and see um, your GP to. Um, have maybe um, a uh, camera put down just to see, an endoscopy, um, just to see if there's any underlying issues there because um, you shouldn't be experiencing any sort of discomfort in your throat, not normally anyway. Okay, perfect. Um, and now I'm going to just press on your stomach see if there's any discomfort there. Do you experience any IBS, irritable bowels or anything like that? Okay, times of stress, all right. That might be uh, also a byproduct of the uh, acid reflux too. Any pain or discomfort here? No, all right. And do you have any uh, food intolerances? Any family history of diabetes? All right. Okay, good. Well, everything seems to be perfectly fine. I'm just going to type up my findings on my laptop here. your GP let you know. Alright, well I'm going to book you in for another set of blood tests. Alright, and you should get that appointment in the post in the next few days. doesn't come through for any reason then please do let us know but until next time take care of yourself keep happy and healthy and i will see you in a year's time